Have a great day to everyone. We brought a horror story on fearsome moment today. If you like to watch more stories like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you think our stories are good, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to share our videos among your friends. Then up Biman and Nilesh are best friends. Three of them share similar habits and thoughts. All three didn't believe in ghosts and supernatural stuff at all. One day they get to know about a haunted house which is situated in a rural area. So the three friends plan to go there for a vacation. As they planned, Tenupa leaves his home on time to visit the haunted house. But when he was on his way there, his friends call him and say that they'll be late to reach the haunted house. Tenupa decides to go inside the house and to wait for his friends since he is a strong-willed person. After walking around the house for a while, he picks the upstairs room as his room because that room had this cold atmosphere which captured his mind. After a while, he gets a phone call from his friends saying that they'll be late to arrive than they expected. <laughs> Suddenly, there's a power outage in the house. He feels a little scared and tries to go downstairs soon. And suddenly he feels a sudden pain in his cheek. When he goes in front of the mirror to check on it, he sees a scar on his cheek. He recalls this incident while he was sitting on a nearby sofa. Suddenly, he remembers the history of this house which was said to him by the owner of this haunted house. Few years ago, the daughter who lived in this house was murdered by her father for her wrongdoings. Then the parents have kept her lifeless body on her bed for a couple of hours before burying her. It is said that she didn't even get a proper burial. After remembering the story, Tenupa gets scared and starts to tremble with fear. He gives a phone call to his friends immediately. <laughs> Being scared by the woman's laugh, Tenupa dropped the phone. He was scared to death by what he saw next. <coughs> by God's grace, the locked door suddenly opens and he leaves this house, leaving his belongings also behind. Luckily, the car key was in his pocket. Because of that, his life was saved. Though he wanted to tell about this incident to his friends, there was no way of calling them because he left his phone in the haunted house. 
He drives his vehicle faster to find a place to call his friends and inform about this house soon. Bro, we are here. Where are you, man? I'm in the house, bro. Come inside. The door is not locked. <laughs> Have a great day till we meet up with another story like this.